If the government shuts down, even those not on Uncle Sam's payroll will likely feel the pain. For people who rely on the federal government for food assistance, the White House says food stamps can stay funded through at least October. But another program that helps feed nearly 7 million women and children could run dry in just days. If these people lose this little bit of what they get already, not only is it going to cause so many people to go hungry, but it's also going to affect so many pantries like myself. I think it's kind of hard for a lot of people to realize just how serious it is. The White House also says 10,000 children would immediately lose access to year-round care provided by the Head Start program. And although student loan payments would still be due, an education department planning memo said new loans may be disrupted. At the nation's airports, TSA agents and air traffic controllers would still be expected to work without pay while lawmakers still get their checks. That's 100 percent wrong. If they're not going to pay the necessary employees to the work, they shouldn't get paid either. During the last shutdown in 2019, many of those air traffic controllers stopped showing up, grounding planes at New York's LaGuardia Airport. The consequences would be disruptive and dangerous. Well, 423 national parks across the country could be shuttered, meaning services including trash collection, bathroom cleanup, and campground operations would all be halted. Federal museums could also close. The Smithsonian saying for now, it will remain open along with the National Zoo until at least October 7th, using prior year funds. And a sobering shutdown fact, the Treasury Department agency that signs off on new alcohol labels and exports would also be closed, which could leave millions of liters of wine, beer and spirits stranded at ports. And Tom, as it relates to the national parks, you may remember during the shutdown in 2019, people continued coming to the parks. They were overwhelmed. We even saw vandalism in some places, including in California, where Joshua trees were destroyed. And so the U.S. Department of Interior is urging people not to come to the national parks and national preserves if this shutdown happens. And that is in order to preserve and to protect these beautiful places. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.